Hey, it's Glenn. You may have noticed a lot of theories going around about Hurricane Helene. Coincidentally, it's Noah's 70th anniversary of the first hurricane seeding experiment. You can pause to read, but basically it was called Project Cirrus, and they dropped large chunks of dry ice in the eye of a hurricane. They thought it would dissipate, but instead they found the eye of the hurricane moved a hundred miles west of where they expected, and also changed direction. By the way, someone died, but I'm sure that would never happen again. They went on to do other experiments, including Project Storm Fury. You can look that up. They said that cloud seeding was finished, but in fact it became very commercial. It is more mainstream than you could realize. I guess people have always wanted to control the weather. This brings me to the P3 Orion. I thought it was a NOAA plane, but when I looked it up, it's actually NASA. They only have one P3, so it wasn't hard to find what that P3 was doing. I want to be clear, I am not suggesting a correlation between this and what I just shared, but this is real information. It seems NASA actually rents this plane, and apparently it's been extremely modified. And I want to be clear, I truly believe NASA does incredible scientific experiments in the atmosphere. They study what the atmosphere is doing, but they do seem to rent out this very clever plane. So what if other people rented it? And what if they had a plan that wasn't actually beneficial to the climate? So I found the flight schedule for P3 Orion. Most of the flights were to Greenland, but there was one on September 9th, the only one that started and ended at the same airport. It makes a clear triangle. And I wondered what might be in the middle? Why would there be a science study happening on September 9th, perfectly surrounding Asheville. I'll see you in the comments. Take care.